everyone, it's Grace of GB Maltese, and I have an unboxing to do from the Yumi Art official store. I purchased this and it came out beautifully, had no problems with the diamond sticking. This is a square, it's beautiful. It was a little wrinkled when I got it, but I ironed it a little bit. Everything came out just perfect on it. And I do have a video showing how I ironed my, my canvas. Um, not this one, but another one. So I'm going to put this to the side. Here's my new package. Now, I have two different items in here that I ordered. I forgot my scissors. And I can't do an unboxing without them. So, let's get started. I thought I'd grab them, but I didn't. So, let's cut into this. Don't know how this is going to come out, being in this type of package. Okay, so we have the black package there. Then we have two smaller ones on the inside. Okay. I have, like I said, two different ones that I ordered. Let's open this one and see what's inside this and how it looks. <clears throat> oh, well, fantastic. It is rolled on a foam core. So as you can see, there are no wrinkles in this. None at all. Okay, just a regular, <clears throat> excuse me, type of tray. Tweezers. I find these tweezers really are easy to place diamonds with because I have placed a few just just for fun with <laughs> tweezers. Okay, this is the one that I ordered. I love this. It's got, I think it goes this way, it's got the puppy with the wolf in the reflection. Um, let's see. It, I'm just glad that it has an inventory sheet. I always enjoy having an inventory sheet with my packages so that when I'm drilling, all I have to do is take this to look at. Now, it looks like there are quite a few colors in this. I'm surprised because in this, as you can see, it looks like it's a black and white. Well, let's look at the canvas and, and have a little look-see and then we'll look at these drills in just a moment okay okay we have rubber bands I remember when I was a kid I would always get confused with the word rubber band and band-aid I would um, use them incorrectly so no that's not a band-aid it's a rubber band I, rem I still remember that I was not <laughs> Okay, this is a 30 by 45. Now, let us see what we have here. It's kind of stiff, and I've been noticing some people trying to do this without wrinkling the canvas anymore because it is so stiff. And I'm wondering if they roll it soon. Oops, there we go, tearing. I'll have to take that back together later. Well, it looks like it wants to just keep right on tearing. Good job, Grace. Let's give me a hand there. Sometimes it's just hard. Okay, that wanted to pull up just a little bit there. I want to see if I can release it just a little bit and see if it won't be so tight. I'm trying to unwind it. Just trying something new. I've seen some others... Um, I know everything Gwenny was um, trying to get hers to come up easier. All I'm doing is making a mess I'm gonna, <laughs> because I've already torn it and it just wants to keep tearing. Let me just do this side. Okay. As you can see, that 
has a making a wrinkle in the paper but it doesn't look like it's going into the canvas so let's do this a little bit more take that foam core on out now okay now let's see if I can do this without completely I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it without just ah there it goes okay it's finally quit tearing look how adorable I wasn't sure how a 30 by 45 was going to come out with this, but this is precious. Okay. Let's see if I can unroll it some more. So far, the canvas is looking very nice. And there are a lot of colors in there. Because this background, I thought it was going to be gray. It looks like it's got purples or something in it. Okay, there's that much of this part. Isn't it adorable? I just love that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up a little bit on this end. It's so tight. They wrap them very, very tightly. And like I said, I just wonder if they roll them soon after they um, lay the tape. Because it's double-sided tape when you're getting these like this let's see okay I'm not sure if it helped any or not but I guess we couldn't do any harm could we I'm sticking it all to my table because it's just wanting to roll on me okay there are a few little creases but they are not bubbles in there there aren't any bubbles okay let's pull this on up some more so you can see this isn't that precious i love this my goodness grace let's see if we cannot tape it to the table <gasps> I will do more harm than good with what I'm doing, I think. So, it's, it looks beautiful. I love this. There's the little husky pup, or um, that's what it looks like to me. And then the wolf, because the dogs are ancestors to the wolf. I just love this. I've been wanting this one for a while, and I saw it. Um, this one, um, these canvases I ordered on August the 14th, and I got them August the 31st. Yes, I have been holding them for a while, and I needed, like, I need to get that done so that I can put my rating for the store. So far, very nice. I would give them a very good rating that we have to check check it all and like I said I did the um, this Yorkie came out gorgeous from that store so I have to say that it was very nice I had all of my drills and that was a, a smaller than this one as you can see and look how nicely it came out. So I I wanted to get from this company again because I was pleased with what I received. Okay, let's look at the drill field. See how, if it's easy to read, you can look at it and see what you think. I think it's very easy. I had no problems with the, with the little Yorkie. None whatsoever. And that pup is adorable. Um, I can read it. I can read it just fine. Um, it looks. Let's see how many colors we have now. We've done this. I'm gonna pull this all the way off because it did not cover that in the center. I'm probably gonna make the biggest mess. Maybe I should title this one "Grace and Her Big Mess." I'm afraid that's what I might be doing. Okay. 
I can come over this way just a little bit more. But if when you lift, if they come all the way off, just work on getting it back on there. And I'm not going to make you spend all your time watching me do this. I will have to com complete this off camera. As you can see, I still have some on the edge, but I will very carefully put it over here so nothing sticks to it. I, I have also started putting these in a sheet protector so that if it, um, looking at it, it doesn't stick to the canvas. So, I'm going to turn this face down and let's look at these drills. This is a square. And here what the drills look like. These are 939s, which is a dark blue. I am not going to do the inventory here on camera. I'll put it in my, uh, if you click on show more, I will let you know if all of the drills were here or not. So that you're not having to sit and wait. Let's see how many colors there are. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, it looks like 34 colors, that's a lot of colors for the, for the size, so I think it's going to come out really nice, like I said, I will check these off camera and I'll put it in the description below, yes, I had all of my drills or I was missing some but I'll do that like I said off camera so that I can open the next one okay this one is a 30 by 40 oh before I forget the the dog Wolf one cost me $13.85, which I thought was a very good price. And I'll put the link to where I got each of these canvases in the show more below. I, I put all kinds of things down in there. So, if you're wondering where I got the things, then it will be there. I love cottage scenes. So I ordered this, it's one of my favorite things to order, I really love them, I just like the, it, to me it just looks so peaceful. So let's look at this canvas and I am not going to try, whoa, there goes that band-aid, whoops, rubber band, I'm just going to go ahead and open this the way I normally do. And I think, let me just put the edge of this on the edge of the table, like that. Put that on the edge so it's not rolling up. And let me peel this back. Okay, that let loose very nicely. I'm just holding it um, loosely. I'm not trying to flatten it out before I roll it back. We'll see if that'll do any good. Okay, let's see what we have here. There are quite a few colors in this one. I can tell by looking at it. Let's see what it looks like. I'll pull this over some more. Try not to pull it all the way off like I did the last one. That's so hard to get back on when you're trying to do it in a hurry. Okay, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think the scene is coming out nicely for a 30 by 40. We'll see how it turns out once I do it. Okay, there are some creases um, in here. This might be a little bit of a Let's just crease this. 
I'll just pull and stretch on this canvas more. Um, you just take it and you kind of just pull on it like if you were trying to pull a bed sheet nice and firm on your bed except you're pulling a little harder and you can't rub your hand like that on here until you put this down so let's rub that down and coax it, try to coax it on down let's see if that did a little bit well you know what from here for me I can tell that it did a little bit it's just stretch and then flatten it down with your hand just kind of coax it along that's what I do with my sheets I'll run my hand to get it nice and smooth okay I'm gonna do the same thing up here because it does have um, this one is kind of bent up but yeah that's got a little bit of a bubble there I'll just stick a my exacto knife or Maybe I'll try a pin or a needle in it. We'll see. Just to pop that bubble. Don't want to pop anyone's bubble, but that's what you just do. You just kind of <clears throat> release in the air. This is an air pocket. Nothing to get too concerned about. Okay, let's open it from this direction. Let's see. Let me turn it this way because this is going to be the right way for you to see it. Okay. The glue we want, was wanting to come up with the paper because they... Okay, here we are. Now, you can see a little bit more of the cottage. I just think these are just very peaceful scenes. Okay, let me... Um, put one side back down so I don't stick it to something while I show you the drill field. And you can see that they are easy to read. It's just easy to read. It has lots of colors in it, so I think it's going to be just gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to have to um, redo these papers because they're not for some reason, it wants to have this little, a lot of them will do that, it'll have that little space in between it. So I'll just play around with that when I get off of here and do all my inventory and that fun stuff. Now this has some beautiful colors. Oh, I'm going to love this. It's, to me, it's kind of like a fall scene almost and the colors that are with it. look like that. It's pretty greens and yellows and the browns, reds. Okay, let's see how many colors we have of this one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, thirty. Two, four, there's thirty-six of this one. So this has quite a few colors in it. So I think that's going to really bring it out. Um, as I said, these are squares. Again, the store is Yumi Art Official Store. And this cottage cost me $12.79. Which, look at all the drills you get. And again, I will put the link and I will let you know whether I had all of the drills here or, here or not so that you will have an idea on that. As I said, I did that beautiful Yorkshire Terrier from this company and I really enjoyed doing it. It was um, a fun piece to do and it would be, if you want to start out with a square for the first time, this was an easy one to do, something like this. So when you want to start out with a square, you might not want a bunch of colors. Anyway, I hope all of you are having a fabulous day and that you're keeping well. And all of our friends that are in North Carolina, I hope and pray that all of you are safe. 
with this storm coming along, um, just don't get out there in it. And if you need to evacuate, get out of there. Please don't take any chances because we love you guys. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would so much love it if you would so that you'll know when I have a video up. And it's fun to have more people in the family, I guess you might say. So if you want to subscribe, just hit that subscribe button. If you click the bell, it'll let you know when I have a video up. So you guys take care and enjoy your diamond painting or whatever else you love to do. Bye. Love you guys.